And continuing our coverage this afternoon, I sifted through this data from the Gun Violence Archive, and according to their records, there have been 19 mass shootings in Virginia in the last year and 12 months. A mass shooting defined where four or more people are injured or killed by gunfire. In fact, one year ago today, four people were shot to death in Portsmouth at a boarding house. It was June 7th, 2022, when gun violence shattered lives on Maple Avenue. Also in the last year, we saw the tragic deaths of six people at the Walmart and Greenbrier section of Chesapeake. As we've reported, a store manager opened fire in the break room of the Walmart days before Thanksgiving and gunned down six of his workers while injuring several more. And less than two weeks before that, a gunman took the lives of three football players at the University of Virginia. Another student was accused of opening fire on a bus full of his classmates including the three you see here and injuring two others. Now the mass shooting at the high school gradu graduation in Richmond. It is clear there is a gun violence epidemic. So I spoke to a psychologist who specializes in PTSD. She says even if we're not directly impacted by the gun violence, we can still experience trauma. Is it normal for us to have that response that maybe we're afraid to go to a Walmart or an entertainment venue or a football game? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It is definitely normal to have that reaction. Anytime we have a stressful experience, let alone a traumatic event, or even if we're just constantly hearing about those experiences that were lived by other people, um, it can impact us. You just heard from Dr. Christy Norwood based on the peninsula. She says it's important to remind ourselves that we are generally safe in public places, but if the fear starts to overshadow our lives, it is time to get help from a mental health professional. We have resources inside this story at WTKR.com. Just search PTSD.